All right, guys. So here's what's gonna go. This is gonna be it's not my first YouTube video, but I've done a couple in the past. I don't really recommend going watch those. Don't go watch those. Uh, if you want, go ahead. They're stupid. But all right. So this is um, I I found some uh, a video on YouTube, and I'll put the guy's channel in the link in the description. Uh, on how to set up a Hodus. Uh, not dogging the guy at all. He actually it, it actually helped out really well. It's just I, I'm gonna put it into perspective of explaining it just a little bit better. Um, this is gonna work with most hoduses, um, and the reason why I'm putting this out is because I uh, I'm also gonna put the link down in the description for the hodus that I use. I use a Logitech X56 Rhino. Um, the problem that I ran into was um, specifically with my hodus the. Uh, throttle has a uh, a lever on it where you can separate the throttle and move one half of the throttle and move the other half of the throttle and I was I was having that issue where I was getting I would lock it in place to be able to use both of them at the same time and it was reading uh, like I would be moving it almost and, and I'll show you what, what I'm talking about in a little bit later but I'm, I'm actually gonna show you guys how to set up a HOTUS and um, just a little bit more detail on how to do it so first thing you want to do is you want to download this application here, which is uh, Joystick Gremlin. You want to download Joystick Gremlin. I'll put a link down to the description for it. And you need three different programs. So you need Joystick Gremlin, you need Hide, Hid Hide Configuration, and you also need uh, VJoy. And what that's going to do is being that Squad it hasn't released multi... Uh, uh, if you have like a joystick that has like a HOTUS and a joystick and it's not all one like wire or it's not considered all one device what vjoy is going to do is going to take those two devices and turn it into one so you're going to download vjoy and then once you have vjoy downloaded you're going to download hot hit hide and then you're going to download joystick gremlin once you have these downloaded you're going to install vjoy and then what you're going to do is you're going to take your your axes here and you're gonna see X Y Z and all of these you can uh, depending on the HOTUS you have you can uh, leave these three out so you're gonna want the X axis the Y axis the Z axis a slider and a, uh, a dial slider my my HOTUS has dials on it to where I can turn left and right um, and the number of buttons is gonna correlate to how many buttons you actually have on your HOTUS it's really just a number it doesn't really matter what you put it at it's just you're gonna have extra um, extra buttons that's going to come up in joystick gremlin that you're just not going to use so once you get all that set up you're going to hit apply and it's going to ask you to restart your computer you can do that after you do all this it doesn't matter do what you want i don't care so once you get this set up then you're going to open a uh, joystick gremlin okay and then what this is going to do this is going to be the actual mapping and i know it looks the the program the way it looks it, it, it looks uh, really intimidating and it's it at first it kind of is but then it's really not once you get the hang of it it's 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 actually really simple so once you have uh, all this figured out, you're gonna see uh, VJoy and your two devices. So I have the, like I said, the X56 Rhino stick and the X56 throttle. So what you're gonna do is, so like let's say I want to, watch, I'm gonna uh, disable it real quick. Uh, I want to program my stick for, you know, movement, you know, y'all collect, uh, y'all pitch and roll. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually take my stick and I'm gonna pull it to the left. Okay, and right now it's not doing it because I actually have this uh, hidden, so I'm going to go ahead and restart it. Uh, enable game device hiding. I'm going to turn that off. And then what I'm going to do is uh, go ahead and restart this. That way it just shows up and I can show you guys. Okay, so uh, what you're going to do is literally take your joystick, and let's say I wanted to do the, the pitch. So I'm going to move that my joystick in that direction and it's going to automatically select it so what you're going to do is i'm going to pull back and it automatically selects my y-axis so then from what there you're going to have um watch i'm going to go ahead and uh just do this just for i already did everything but i'm going to do that for this sake of the video so what you're going to do is you're going to pull back on your x act your y-axis so i'm going to just move it so i'm going to pull back and then it's automatically going to jump to this. Uh, see how it automatically jumped? And then it jumps to my y-axis. So now once it jumped to my y-axis, I'm going to go ahead over here and click add. And then it's going to show up here. And then you're done.
you literally just remapped it. And then you're going to do that for every button on your stick. So, like, let's say I wanted to do my uh, my hats on my stick. See how it just I pushed a button on my hat, and it went down straight to here. And then you're just going to click Add, and it's going to show up. Now, uh, let's say you want to do... You do that for all your buttons on your stick. And it no matter what number you set up here, it doesn't matter. As long as you have enough to do the things that you want to do in the game. Um, what I like to do is I, I went and actually seen in the game what I'm going to use on my HOTUS. And I just kind of uh, went off of that. So, But it doesn't matter. You can put any number you want up here. Um, so... Like I said, you push a button and it's automatically going to jump. Just click add and then it's going to map that button. So and now let's say I wanted to do my throttle. It's the same exact concept, guys. Like you just move it and then it's going to jump to wherever it needs to go. And then you just click add. And then you can map all the buttons the same way. Just push the button. It's going to jump right to it. Click add and then bam, you're done. And you do that for all your buttons that you're going to want to use. Now, this is where I'm going to show you to... Like you can actually see if your buttons are actually working. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to tools, okay? And then you're gonna do uh, input viewer, okay? And then, so you see how I have VJoy open up? I don't know if you have to have it open up, I just have it open just in case. You're gonna click axes and temporals, and then you're gonna do buttons and hats, okay? And this, this whole thing is gonna show up, and all the buttons that you program or that you listed in VJoy are gonna come up here. So now that this is up, I'm gonna go over here to this little controller and hit activate, okay? And then I'm gonna go back here to the uh, tools and then you'll see a bunch of lines that showed up, right? So if you pull on your stick, you move it around, you see it's, it's responsive, it, it's doing things. You, you see that it's working. You, and then you push like the buttons on your, your, uh, your like this is my hats on my uh, joystick you can see everything's working I don't know why this isn't programmed as a hat I might actually have to change that um, all the buttons on my sticks you can see that they're, they're working so and no, and no matter what button I push you can see that it's working now uh, that's also gonna work for your throttle so you can just push the buttons on your throttle uh, you, you can see I'm moving my throttle up and down and this is what I was talking about how like if I and this is specifically specifically for throttles that have um, two uh, like a split thing where you can move one side and then move the other side. Excuse me. This is specifically for those. I found the fix and it's literally unhook your throttle. If you have the option to be able to lock your throttle together, oh now it's not doing it. But it, I had the issue where yeah, see look now it's doing it. See how the I'm getting these red dips in the uh, in the graph. That means they're either not completely equal, even though you have it locked, and that can maybe cause some problems in game. So what I do to fix that, I literally just unlock it, and then watch it stops. That's what I was talking about. So this is specifically for a throttle where you can move both sides. If that makes sense. Um, so and. I, and it may not do that for other throttles. I know it does it for my X56. And uh, I love my X56. I literally have no problem with it. It is a great HOTUS. Um, and I use it for like Arma, DCS, uh, and now this. Because uh, and the, the reason why you have to do this is because uh, Squad doesn't support uh, multi... Uh, how can I say that? Hey, we're going to get a... In the comments, guys, give me an uh counter. I want to know how many times I said uh. Um, they don't support more than one device yet and that's coming and it's probably going to be a while so this is going to be the way to get your HOTUS to work and like I said it's going to work with most it, it should work with every HOTUS like I think uh, if you get the Thrustmaster like T-Flight Floor how it's all one device I'm pretty sure that's just going to work right off the bat you're not going to have to mess with anything like this but this is more for like your your verbal controls um, your X56 your uh, Thrustmaster Warthogs things like that so that's how you get it to work so now that i have everything mapped we're gonna move on to hit hide configuration um once you go to hit hide configuration you're gonna download it and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna come here and you're gonna see this it's gonna pop up just like this what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to wherever you have 
uh, your joystick gremlin hidden, okay? You want to find the exe file, and then once you find your exe file, for which is your, your executable, you're going to click open, and then you're going to see this pop up in the map, in the, uh, in the bar. You're going to see this one pop up right here. It may not look exactly like this, but as long as it has like joystick underscore gremlin dot exe, it should work. So what you're also going to do is you're going to go to devices, and then what this is for is for um, being that they don't support more than one control right now. This is going to hide your your HOTUS from uh, from squad. That way, it recognizes it as the virtual joystick and not the not your HOTUS. That way, it doesn't think that oh, it's going to freak out and think that this is all. This is two separate things. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna find your, and it's gonna pop up here, and you're gonna click the uh, the red boxes. You're gonna find your HOTUS here, click these red boxes, and then you're gonna go enable device hiding. Okay, so the reason why you need to put the application for Gremlin is you need to exclude that bit from hiding it. Otherwise, uh, it's not gonna work. It, it, this needs to be seen. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So you have to exclude uh, Joystick Gremlin. And that's why you have to click this little plus button here and then uh, do that. So now that we have this finished, and if I'm going too fast, y'all let me know in the comments. Uh, if y'all need, I'll post my Discord in the link. And y'all can contact me, and I'll give y'all guys a hand on setting it up. It took me a little while of trial and error because, like I said, I'm not dogging the guy. He could have just explained it a little bit better. So now that once you have all this set up, okay, you need to go back to Joystick gremlin and i cannot express this enough go to file and save just save it name it whatever you want save this otherwise when you start up your game it is not going to work i repeat it will not work and then once you have it saved everything's all set up you're going to click activate this has to be activated every time you play joystick gremlin every time you play squad and another thing too um i, I haven't done it yet i haven't tried playing any other games while this is activated but i'm pretty sure it's going to hide it from other games so you're going to have to exclude the other games in this uh hit hide con thing just find your executable for the game and then put it in here but um yeah this has to be activated otherwise it will not work so right now we're gonna go back to squad and i'm gonna show you uh it actually working so we go to settings then i'm gonna go to controls and then i'm gonna go to helicopter accesses and you can see right now i have all my joysticks uh my joystick my my hold is everything binded even my look left look right look up look down so that's just showing you that it's going to actually work so yeah I'm, basically what i'm trying to say is, is this is going to be a workaround until the re they release multi-device inputs see what i'm saying multi-device input is not supported so what this is going to do like i said is going to make it your device look as one device and not more than one that way you can still use your 200 or 300 dollar hodis because uh, granted, this is why I bought this game was probably is more likely to fly. Um, and then you can set, you can go to controls and set all your general controls and everything like that to uh, your HOTUS. So uh, that's gonna be it, guys. And uh, thank you all for watching. And I hope this helps. Uh, let me know down in the comments how I did, how I can improve. Um, if you liked it, please like and subscribe. So thank y'all. Let me know.